how many hours a day do you recommend coding? Uh, when you are learning, this is different for, for everyone. So for example, for me, when I was learning, um, I had a full-time job doing something different other than coding. So I was able to devote only a certain amount of time uh, for coding or for learning and studying. If you are a student and you're learning, uh, you should do as many hours as you can. Um, if you are already a developer and you have a job as a developer, um, I would suggest that you spend maybe an hour or two after work learning new things or um, if at work you uh, there are things that you're working on that you don't understand, it's a, it is a good idea for you to brush up on your on your free time uh, so you don't get left behind. But if at work you're performing well and the things that you are working on, you already know, I wouldn't spend too much time on learning new things unless you really like coding. In my experience, even though I had a full-time job a few years ago, I was still learning more things on my free time. There were things that we weren't necessarily using at work at that time, but there were things that I thought were going to be helpful uh, for my career. So I recommend that even though if you have a full-time job as a developer, spend some time in learning new things. How do you work as a developer while studying full-time? So if you're studying full-time, um, it's difficult for you to get a job as a developer and, and I'm assuming that you're studying for computer science because you want to become a developer. Uh, so it is, I don't know if you, your plan is to do freelancing, but it's all up to you. When I used to, if you want to compare this, right, I guess going to college full time is almost as much as, or sometimes it could be even more, but you could relate it to having a full time job, right? You go into class and then you have homework. So you could say that studying full time is, you know, somewhat equivalent to working full time. But even after that, um, I was learning something else. So for me, it was different. So it, it would be difficult for me to say I was going to, to school full time and working part time. For me, it's always been the other way around. I've been working full time and I was going to school part time. So I'm not sure if I'm able to answer your question correctly. Well, the only uh, suggestion that I have for you is that you just need to be careful that you don't burn yourself out. If you are studying uh, right to become a developer, you're studying computer science and programming, and then on the side you still work part time as that, it is very easily for you to get burned out because it's just too many hours sitting in front of the computer uh, learning things. Uh, when you're young, uh, you can do it better as you get older, but for example, me, I'm not sure if I would be able to do do that, right? To work full time and then have um, sort of like a part time or, or, or keep studying for many hours.